What is up, guys? It is Russ here, Poké Russ here, and we are back, back for another episode of Dragon Ball Super TCG Action, and another Deck Tech Tuesday. Deck Tech Tuesday is a series where I go over deck profiles every Tuesday, probably. Kind of like why it's called Tuesday, but sometimes I miss a Tuesday, sometimes it's on Wednesday, but usually it's on Tuesdays, and we snag a look at a deck, either submitted, made by one of us, or submitted by one of you guys. There's three different ways to do it, but we'll talk about that at the end of the video. But let's get into today's deck profile. We got veggies. And you're like, Russ, we've seen veggies a lot on this channel. Not this kind of time. We got the budget veggies, which, if you're on a diet, is cheaper on your wallet, unlike normal diets, which is usually more expensive on your wallet. But this is where we're going to go, because I, I, a lot of new players want to get into the card game, and they're definitely looking for budget-style decks. And there's a lot of decks that look cool, but there's also... But veggies do look cool. Veggie, the veggie has a cool, cool engines. Uh, Universe Six is really neat in in application, and it has a lot of synergistic stuff like that. And if you're like a big Vegeta fan as well, this deck's also for you. So let's get into it. Let's do budget veggies. This is this is a mono red deck. This doesn't include any of the green shenanigans from uh, the green veggies. So we're gonna get right into this. So over the past weekend, you saw uh, Ginyu veggies did super well, and again, like I said. People are going to see that and want to get into veggies, but also not have the money to spend or have the ability to get those veggies just yet. So, we have this veggie deck. Um, we have the Khalifa Leader, which she was uh, the first universe uh, universe anything we got in the card game, which is super nice. Uh, it allowed Universe 6 to have kind of an option because Kale is kind of mediocre and you might not want to play Veg Vegeta. Um, but she's self-awakening, which makes her super uh, usable in this format. And yeah, so her front side says activate main once per turn. Choose one of your life, add them to your hand. Then choose this card and all of your non-black battle cards. They gain 5,000 power for the duration of turn. Once you have four or less cards, you draw two cards and flip her over. And she goes Super Saiyan. She's running wild. We have active main. Choose one of your life and add it to your hand. Choose this card and all of your non-black cards and 5,000 power. Pretty much same ability, and when she attack, when this card attacks, she draws a card. Super nice. She does have that uni big universe six, super importantness, uh, which is another reason why we're using her. And uh, she's self awakening, like I said before. So she's gonna be our leader. Uh, she's probably, uh, if I were to run a second, uh, second ch another, I'd, I'd probably run Kale, obviously as the second one, or Vegeta. Vegeta also is pretty fun, and again, if you're a big Vegeta fan, you could probably run that as well. We're gonna get into the deck list. We have four. Kaba, the Universal Mediator. So, uh, every card in this deck is under, I think, five. There's not there's not many cards in the deck that are actually, and this is a very usable, very playable uh, deck that, again, pretty decent priced. Kaba, Universal Mediator. Uh, this card is super important. One is it's turn one. And two, it has that universe six. Uh, it does it does the trunks effect. Now, if you're running the green veggies, you probably run trunks over this because you're not as important. Your turn two is a different play than what you would play in this deck. Uh, but your turn two play is actually usually kale, uh, and you want to hit. Usually, want to maul for one of your turn ones to make sure you can get that kind of turn curve you want off. So we have six turn ones in this build. We have this one, look top three cards of your deck, choose one universe, six among them, and as your hand shuffle the rest of the rest of them in your deck. And then we have two Khalifla. Now Khalifla is just vanilla. Uh, she's not overstatted or anything. She does turn into a 15 one if you decide to boost. Uh, a little bit better than Kaba stats, and sadly the other Kaba really doesn't have Universe 6. Um, not that we, we have other Awakening options in this deck because if she's self-awakening and we have another card in this deck that's also helps awaken, so we don't really need the old Kaba's effects, which is why we're sticking with this new one, because we want to hit our turn 2 off pretty strong. Uh, if The deck is meant to be super aggressive, super aggro, just push, 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 um, and yeah. So, the Khalifla will also come in handy a little bit later. We're going to set her off to the side. Next, we have one of your win cons, actually. Super low, but also really, a really interesting card. They, they did a lot of really cool things with Kaba in this card. It's your turn three play. This isn't your turn two play, what we're talking about. But, permanent, this card can attack active mode, and your opponent cannot activate counter when against this card's attacks. So, you don't have to uh, at, at, attack in active mode to get the non-counter effect. But super nice. You, the fact that you can't be countered 
will come into play as a win con later on in the deck. Um, then, um, when this card attacks, if your leader is Red Saiyan, it gains plus 5,000 power for the duration of the turn. So, if you pop her effect and pop his effect, he's 2,500 turn 3. Absolutely insane. Can't be countered. He's, he's punching for some life. He's punching for some life. Or he's punching over a guy that you just want to get rid of. Say they're playing regular veggies, you just punch over their cabot. You punch over their uh, Khalifa. Whatever you need to do. Uh, super nice in the mirror match. Um, and you definitely want to protect this in the mirror match. Um, next, we have the Khalifa package, which does include this. So we have two of these, and then we have four Sister Attack Kales. That gives us six targets for our ne the next card, which is Nevo. But... When you play this card, if your leader is a Red Saiyan, you can choose one of your life as your hand. If you do so, this card gains plus 5,000 power and double strike. So, the one thing about veggies is not many of them have double strike. So that's going to we're getting into that later. But this is also a card. This is a card, turn three card that gets double strike. Super nice. 2,000 with Capitalist Booth, 2,500. What else can you ask for? Um, you're so close to that 3,000 barrier that I said, but you're also hitting it early, so you don't need to hit the 3,000 as early as you play these in later game you only have to combo with one card to that magic 30,000 where your opponent's probably going to have to combo at least two and that's where the real victory in this deck comes from the self boost the self awaken and just the power creep um, allows the deck to uh, be more aggressive and hit those numbers that you need to hit to control the board if you need to, but it's also aggressive enough that it can just punch in the face and win really quickly. So we have six targets for the main... This is this is the MVP of the deck. The bold Super Saiyan 2 Khalifa. You could, so you really want to hit this on turn 3. Uh, if you can. If you can. Uh, we're only running two of these, so you're only going to hit that on turn 3 if you hit one of those. But it, it's okay to hit it on turn 4. Uh because you're, you're probably hitting it off sister attack which is can be a good target can be a bad target it, it's it's really tough but again all of these guys power themselves up but before they're all 1500 so when you play this card look at the top seven cards of your deck choose one universe six with an energy cost or i'm sorry with the with 1500 power or less among them and play it so she starts spamming the board she gets uh cab is out more Khalifa's, more Khalifa's, or tails which sets you up for your next turn because uh, turn going into turn four and five is really where this deck just hammers down and start, just starts punching into you. So there's a Khalifa again. She's she's the main combo of the deck. If you can also pop one of these in your first hand, you're looking pretty spicy. Um, next we're running two Dauntless Kales. I've never been a personally big fan of the free summons. Uh, usually they turn out to be weaker and they bear, like. Blocker, blocker's nice, but only if it's protect. Like, uh, it only goes so far. It's it's not what it is in other card games. If if there's an ability blocker in other card games, um, but if Khalifa is in your battle area or your leader area, you can pop this for free, which is super nice for when you need to Evo because turn four you're also trying to Evo into Kale, which we'll get into in a second. So we have two of those, so that's nice to evolve off of. Or we have. Sister Attack Kale, you can hit this, this is the card you want to hit on your turn 2, or you're going to try to hit it on your turn, uh, if you, if you hit this, like, turn, if you hit Khalifa turn 1, you hit this turn 3, you pop this on board turn four, uh, 3 as well, turn 3 as well, and just, you're all set up to go for the next attack. Uh, Sister Attack Kale, great card, 10,000 power, seems pretty weak, uh, for a turn 2, but, if your leader is Universe 6, which it is, um, or, I'm sorry, if you have another verse, or Universe 6, in your battle area, which is the important part of why you're playing, you're playing these Kales, you're playing these Khaliflas, and you're playing these Cabots. So you should be able to hit your turn one play pretty nicely. Um, so Sister Attack Kale, if you put her on curve, you draw, you get an extra draw, which is absolutely insane. She gets plus that five thousand for duration of turn. You're probably doing this, so she's a twenty thousand turn two, absolutely crazy. Um, so she's on board. You have these Kales, and you want to go into your big Kale, which is the next card. We have two uh, Relentless Super Saiyan Kales. So the reason we're only running two of this is because this is a really dangerous effect. Yes, it just nukes board. Absolutely nukes board. But you might be in a position where you 
hit curve really well, your opponent hasn't been able to handle it really well, you actually have a stacked board. You might not want to explode, but with the draw engines of, uh, with you thinning out your deck with this, with you have Cabot to thin out your deck, you have your leader thinning out your life, you have Kale thinning out your deck, and then you also technically have Khalif the thing out your deck, so you're going to probably be hitting this by turn 5 or turn 4 when you need it anyway, so you don't really need more than two of it uh, because of the amount of filter you have in your deck, which is super nice. And, like I said, it's also a not every game scenario. So, if you're in a good advantageous position, you kind of just keep doing field stuff. If your opponent starts overwhelming you, like say you attack, and every t every turn your opponent's it, you're like, you're being super aggro, you're hitting their life super hard, all your opponent's doing is trying to just like, fight back. They, they destroy your cards pretty much as you summon, but then every turn you're just like, I'm gonna punch harder, punch harder, and they're spending their entire game, um, controlling your board you might not have a giant field so you can either uh play your uh dauntless kale for free or you might have uh this for cheap and then turn five turn six you pop into or turn four turn five turn six you pop into super saiyan kale blow up their entire side of the board uh if you have if you have your khalif law on field you get to keep it as well um so it's super nice and it has double strike one of the few veggies that actually has double strike um so like I said, not every game scenario, but super good, super nice. And then you have this guy. This guy turns a lot of your veggies into your win cons. So obviously, double strike's a nice win con if your opponent's low on life. Um, not being able to be countered, nice win con if you're not worried about power and stuff. So like, and even 20,000 power, pretty strong as well. So this card, Universe 7 Prince Vegeta, comes in. When you play this card, if your leader uh, is red, which it is, um, choose one of your other Saiyan battle cards with either Universe 7 or Universe Switch. Six. Switch. Six. Switch it to active mode. Then both that card and this card gain plus 10,000 power and triple strike. What? So you... So if you have any other... Says Universe 6 or 7, seven card on the field, which you have so Universe 7, Universe, all, all, most all the other cards are Universe 6. Um, they get triple strike and get stronger. So, like I said, the biggest target for this, I think, is Kaba. Kaba's absolutely insane. Triple strike, and then triple strike can't be countered. And, to top that all off, um, you also have your, your boosting power from your leader. Where'd my leader go? Where'd my leader go? Where'd my leader go? Your leader, so you can even pump even higher. So plus ten thousand turns this into twenty five thousand, thirty thousand, like absolutely insane. Plus, like I said, ah, uh, you can attack with this, not be countered. Bring them down to like the three there. Just they're sitting at four. Bring them down to the three. Uh, activate this effect. Uh, play this. Activate its effect. Untap it. Bam, bam. Thank you, ma'am. And this also leads to one turn kill. Like, no, not one turn kills, but high turn kills. So there's a lot of, um, especially like the untap, like sometimes just awakening your leader isn't enough. And if you can make these both double or triple strikes, that's absolutely insane where your opponent just might not have enough cards to handle them, which is super awesome. So another piece of your win con is, and uh, every, car, every deck, pretty much almost any deck, should have black cards in them. We try to avoid the the ones from the promo decks the or the promo sets because those are a little bit pricey but mira also works really good so like i was saying before this doesn't really work with too much of the other stuff in the deck especially not the leader doesn't boost black cards this doesn't target non-universe six or seven but this card can also not be blocked so your opponent might like you're, you're sitting there they negate they negate this they have a blocker on field you like you know, you know what I mean so it's just like it's just another way to you just for you just push through uh, and just uh, bounce it back from a, um, just keep pushing harder is what I'm trying to say you just want to keep pushing harder and Mira absolutely helps that as well um, next we have our super combo I love the universe's super combos the universe's super combos are absolutely insane uh, you get to use them on five life which allows you again to be more, way more aggressive uh, especially with this deck you want to be aggressive you want to either 
You can either be aggressive in the, field, the control board, or you can be aggressive just in attacking. Um, and this allows you to do that because you can activate it at 5 life, which is super, super, super nice. Especially since, um, like, other than on attack draw, this effect doesn't really change much. So it doesn't really matter that you're not awakened yet. So, because she gives herself a boost. She turns into a 1500 right there. And so it doesn't almost doesn't matter that she's not awakened. Next we have Strategist of Universe 7. You kind of use this when you're going to go in and start pushing for game, especially once your opponent hits that 4 life, especially if they're running that, um, the, uh, Ginyu, or something like that. You just kind of protect your guys. You pop this, it's free. All your red, uh, all your red turn 3 or lower, um, Saiyans get Barrier, which makes this even more, makes Kaba, again, the Kaba vegeta combo even more impressive. It's now a triple striker, can't be countered, it also has Barrier. What? What is Shigesh doing to this? Let me tell you nothing. Shigesh is, Shigesh is crying in the corner because he's not what you wanted on your multi summon. We have three of the combo piece for red. Uh, Universe 7, or Universe 6 actually didn't come out with their own uh, combo piece, which is okay. Um, not every, not like, we, we don't need to be overused in combo pieces. There's some decks that can actually run nine combo pieces right now. Universe 7, Frieza, can run seven, or nine. Nine? Twelve. Twelve. You got four of each card in twelve. But we're not going to get into that. Um, so we're running three combo Vegetas, again, just to flood the board, get creatures on the board, protect yourself, do all that kind of stuff. Also, you're pretty much summoning on curve, so you're not really going to have too many mana. That's not why we didn't protect the four. We're doing four Furthering Destruction Chompas, because this is more important. This allows your veggies to have double strike, because not many of them do. Only the Kale and the one Khalifla does, which is super important. I mean, the Vegeta does give things triple strike, but only when you play him and he gives one other thing. So this is a nice combo piece, allows you to get double strike on a lot of your cards, allow you to push for game. And then we do run our one Negate, which is the Unending uh, Awakening. Negate the attack, then choose one of your red uh, Saiyan leader cards and gains 5,000 power for the duration of turn. Kind of like a faux Sensu Bean, that's why I really like this card. Um, because usually when you use Sensu Bean, not gonna lie, it's probably on your leader anyway. Um, unless they're trying to like combo over your, like using Jiren to combo over your guys. But this is like a faux, faux um, Sensu Bean. So that's what it gets to do. So this is, this is what I think is a really good version of the budget veggie deck. And I think it's, I think it's very playable and yeah, like you could take this, obviously you're not gonna, you're not gonna super top aim, but you can take this deck, have fun with your friends and get to use the card you want to use, and again, budget. It's self-awakening, it, it can, it's probably at least a tier, tier 2 to tier 1.5 style deck. Um, I would take this to locals and play it, and I think you should too, you just give it a try, uh, especially because I've always wanted to use this leader so, pretty much as soon as it came out, and this gives me a chance to use it. So, if you like this kind of content, make sure you hit that like button down below, and how can you submit deck profiles to Deck Tech Tuesday? Well, you can either submit them in the description box down below there's a link to a discord where you can join the discord from there and there there's a Dex, deck tech tuesday submission there so you can submit submit decks you can have discussions about decks be like hey what do you think about this card in this deck do you can have discussions with like-minded people we do pokemon monster hunter and dragon ball super stuff in that discord so pop on over there if you are interested in any of that kind of stuff and just have a chat with us i'm i'm pretty much in there uh most evenings so come join us and have a good time then, there's also PokeRustSubs at gmail.com, it's a submission email where you can send pretty much anything, uh, pretty much anything that we're doing for submissions, either mixed armor sets from Monster Hunter or Deck Tech Tuesday stuff, and stuff like that, so submit that over the, there, or you can just leave it in the comment section down below as well, just leave me a list of names, numbers, how many cards are in the deck, so on and so forth, and you might see your deck featured on Deck Tech Tuesday with all credit going to you. So, this has been another Deck Tech Tuesday. Thank you for like, commenting, and subscribing, and I will see you guys next time. Have a great day. Poke Ross out. Peace.